so it's the first trip of the year for 2022 and uh, big socks uh, out here with me and yeah we just pulled over here at uh, one of the rest stops uh, so we can check all his oil and coolant levels on his fully sick 5VZ fully sick fully sick mate no, not so much is it is it still full the oil is still full, full. That's, that's the main thing isn't that's it right. it's still, there's oil in the motor somewhere <laughs> Yeah. That's pretty sad, they don't have yeah, anything else yet. Definitely going to be Neil doing that soon. Yeah, if he doesn't uh, yeah. get uh, stuffed up out here. That's it, brown tanks guys. If it, if it looks different colour from here to here, then you need to do your radiator because uh, that'll just snap when you take that off. Oh, it should be fine. Should be fine, full set. So. Should be right for you. Oh no. So yeah, it's my first trip out since, uh, since the accident. And uh, yeah, got the old girl out with me. First maiden voyage. Uh, we're heading up to the Turong in South Australia. Um, yeah, it's been a couple of years since I've been there, so I thought, you know what, why not? We'll go out and we'll check it out. So I have just recently put a 270 awning, 230 awning on. Um, she's sitting pretty good actually, level. Level with all the gear I've got in it. So um, had the rack refurbished as well guys. So up here, bit a bit dirty at the moment, but um, yeah, I had full powder coat and four mil mesh added by SPH Engineering. So shout out to Simon there. Thank you very much for all your work. Um, very much appreciated. Uh, in the back here, bit of my setup. Kind of still figuring it out. Temporarily, I've got some water in there. I've got to sort that out later. I'm probably going to put a bladder behind the back seat or something. So, um, tighten drawers are all in. Fridge is here. I've just got a uh, just a King's Rollout alloy table. A couple of new tubs because the other ones were destroyed. My toilet seat and uh, my camp chair. So, in the drawers, for my inflation tools, new hub nut socket. Um, tie deflators, uh, just a bag of tools there, and I've got a multimeter at the back, a couple of small shovels. So, because I couldn't get a shovel holder, and in this side, um, just my camp oven, my billy, 12 volt shower, fire extinguisher, um, and I've got a collapsible bucket there. In one of my tubs, I've also got a sink washing up so it's coming along it's getting there again in the back I've kept the rear seats in gotta get changed later so rear seats is uh, all there all my gear so it's not looking too bad Just turn this off. inside fine um, I have my HEMA maps set up. I've got an MSA uh, seat organizer on this side now. Obviously my hat. Fishing rods are all in here as well. Um, sleeping bag, swag, stretcher, a couple of tackle boxes, some clothes, fishing rod holders. So yeah, it's all happening guys. I'm excited, I'm keen. And uh, yeah, we'll go check out Big Sox car. So Sock here is running my old 80 series Steelies, which actually looks really good, I reckon, on yours. Do you like them or not? Yeah, they suit it. They suit it, don't they? They suit it. It gives it a baby cruiser look, which it is. It's a baby cruiser. Yeah, it's, it's it. got it's more 80 series bits on it. That's right. Oh, yeah, 80 series rear springs, 80 series wheels. 80 rear shocks as well. So rear shocks, 80 series, and the recovery points, 80 series. 80 series, so yeah, it's pretty much like a mini 80 series. No, not really. IFS mate, but IFS is good, at least it's comfortable, yeah, it's unlike mine, not comfortable. Get a good wheel on out of it. Hey? Your wheel on is even better. Get a wheel on it. Your wheel on is even better to do. Oh, even better to do, yeah, you hate doing the solid actual wheel on it, so. <laughs> so, yeah, what do you reckon mate, where are you, where are you hiding, there you're hiding. Woo! Hiding. Hiding, you're hiding, oh, I can kind of see you on the screen there. So what do you reckon, we, uh, we head on? I suppose. I suppose so. I suppose. Uh, it's no actually worries. not too bad. It's cool the other fair bit. 
Yeah, it's pretty cool, here, cool here. Wait till we get down further. Seems better. So off to the Kurong for some camping and fishing. Yep. We will see you when we get to probably Tail and Bend or some crap like that. So, bye right, guys. Ciao. Gotcha. All right. So we've uh, just got into Meningi and grabbed some bait for fishing. And Mr. Big Sock is uh, doing some googling. What are you googling, mate? Ah, uh, just a forgot my pillow. <laughs> pillow? What else? Right. What else you forget? And it's how. And it's how. So, the shop's like they're open here. Maybe. Yeah. If he's going to get a reception, or you need me to look it up for you. No, I've got a bit of reception. Got a bit of reception? Yeah, right then. So, we're going to go have a look in the shop and see if we can grab him something there, otherwise, he'll be uh, sleeping on his clothes, I guess, as a pillow. Won't be the first time. Won't be the first time, won't be the last time. So, yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. So, uh, yeah, we'll continue on. What's time? Uh, 12.46. 12.46, so we've been going since, what, about 9, 10 o'clock this morning, I think it was. So, yeah, yeah, that's about right. But we stopped a few times and filled, filled up and whatever, so. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, we're gonna continue on and hopefully we can find Big Sock, a, a, a towel and a pillow. Right, so we've uh, just hit Salt Creek at uh, the old roadhouse that's no longer operating. So I'll show you around here a little bit. Never actually got to go in when it was running, but I'll show you around and um, some of the stuff on in the windows, which is quite interesting, all the recoveries and stuff that the uh, owner used to do. So, so this is it here. So this is Salt Creek Roadhouse. Hopefully. No more pumps, because they're gone. This hasn't been operating for quite some time. So last time I was here was three years ago, and it uh, still wasn't running then. So just got his uh, big spill here. Uh, the Eustace Online booking system and closure and removal of campsites, and, and no track and vegetation maintenance closure of safe access tracks and all sorts of stuff over here um, marine park sanctuary zone um, this is the idea on that so you know this is where we're headed and this is the risk that you're gonna you're gonna be taking if you get that's it wrong not my that's no. Not. <laughs> but it is a 90 series is. which is quite funny i don't know if you guys can see that in the uh thing there's a there's a whole uh, no, the right one, that one. As you can see, there's a, there's a, there's a 90 series off the track there. <laughs> that's pretty funny. So, um, that's right. So that's Tea Tree Crossing, and obviously it's a roll up. There's, you know, I should put my thing back here so I can actually see what I'm looking at. There's rollovers. The people bogged at the beach. There's another rollover there. You know, this guy here went and rescued people. So, people keep within the tracks. You know, and there's a car down there. You know, that's that one's uh, that's gone under. Yeah. And true. and she's buried. Uh, just from t the tide. So yeah, it's unfortunate this place isn't running anymore. Um. But yeah, we're about to head out over that way to see if we can actually get across Tea Tree Crossing. And if you haven't seen that video, it'll be up. Where's my hand? This way. Maybe up this side, here, somewhere. I'm gonna put a link to that one. If you haven't seen my high tide crossing, don't recommend it. Um, I don't think there's more down here. No, it's the same stuff down here. So it's just so people can see it, so. Um, yeah, what do you reckon, Sock? Bit of a shame? Yeah, it's always a bit of a shame, but uh, that's the uh, way it that's is. That's the way it goes. Obviously. So between between Meningi and here, and here, the only fuel stop is in Kingston South East, and there's 145Ks between, so. If you do need to fuel up, fuel up at Meningi before you head out. And um, yeah, that's it. Unfortunately, with the Salt Creek Roadhouse, but yeah, good good point. So um, the old girl's going all right. Got to tweak the uh, steering box a little bit, I think, on that one. She's, uh, she's wandering a little bit. <laughs> two minute job, mate. Yeah, two, two minute job, but my shoulder's copping it. 
Yeah. Try, trying to keep it straight. I'm, I'm just getting sore. That's yeah, why yeah. I stopped for a bit, so. Oh yeah, she's a, she's traveling well. How's, your, how's yours going? So I reckon, estimate about 12.5 power 100 in yours. Oh yeah. So you see, you get 100 k's to a quarter of your sub, sub, get around about 400 k's to a sub, so yeah, 12.5-ish. Yeah. That's with the aircon going, bigger tyres. Yeah, aircon, bigger tyres, I could the aircon going, I'm running 33s on. I've done yeah. 200 k's and I'm just above a third, but that's not accurate. I get more than that, so I get below empty, and then down to the E, and it's still going. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Excuse me. So, yeah, what do you reckon, guys? 80 series wheels on a 90 series? What do you reckon, Sock? Oh, it's growing on me. Growing no. on you? I like it. Can't say no to that. That's no, growing. those look good. I like it, and they're a 16 by 8 zero offset, so. So if you guys have seen my, my 90 series stuff, when I was uh, filming all that, um, 16 by 8 zeros was the, was the best offset, even for 33s. So pick yourself up a set of 80 series D steelies. If you don't want to just go for a set of Sun Rangers and you want something that looks a little bit different. Yeah. Um, that's the way to go on that. I probably, get, probably wouldn't have the uh, white rolling on the outside. I'm not a really real big fan of that, but... No, I'm not now. Yeah. But, you know, like back in the day when I had the Toyos, I was like, yeah, it's sick. But, yeah. When you got a bull bar though, like a, you, you put a black bull bar on that, you know, and and then you're gonna be all about it. Where are you? There you are. I can't hold my arm out. It's very like black duck black wheels either, so. <laughs> yeah. You know, like black but not black wheels. No. Suits so mine. Yeah, it's got a lot of black flares though. Yeah, true. This is why it's working with yours, because your flares and the wheels are kind of a very similar colour. Yeah. So, obviously. Run right on the 285, 75, 16s. On the 80 series, same Maxxis Razor tyres I had on the 90. And uh, yeah, it's going along alright. Bit slow going up hills, especially coming out of Adelaide. That's horrible. But, yeah, not bad. It's good, I'm enjoying it. We're going to go check out Tea Tree Crossing. Um, if we can't get across, we are going to have some lunch down there and uh, then we'll work out going down to 42 mile and coming across the beach that way. Yeah, Back into it. the campground. And uh, see how we go down that sand dune. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be filming that too. That'll be good fun. So, yep. cool. All right, guys, we'll be back soon. All right, so heading down to uh, T3 Crossing. And uh, this one's greeted with at the moment. So, dirt road, it's actually quite smooth. It's not too corrugated, surprisingly. Um, out to my left is a uh, yeah. Out to out to my left is a salt lake. You might be able to see out there. Uh, people coming and going, so we're just taking it nice and slow. 7.2 k's to Tree Crossing, and we'll get out there and uh, check it all out. So and uh, yeah, keep going. Should be good. All right, so we're at Tea Tree Crossing, and uh, yeah, the water's still up. I don't think we're going across here. I'm definitely not taking the 80 series across here. <laughs> well, you know, if you saw that previous uh, link on the video, that was my, my dumb decision to drive across this at high tide. But so I'll park back there and we'll go have a look. I reckon it'll probably be pretty shallow. Yeah, there's people waiting across the other side, just thinking, of watching, waiting for her to come across. It's pretty low, like, you can see the water marker there. But we're going to go for a walk across it. I'll take you with me. And, uh, and we'll see how we go. Look at these little red channel markers. They look massively deep. But... You got these little channel markers here. Look at those little birds you see on a David Attenborough epithet thing out. Look at them. <laughs> That's great. How are you going, little birdies? You can already see this is deep. Yeah, I'll take my thumbs off. Ooh, uh, 
thumbs, flip flops, whatever you want to call them. We'll have a look. Not American, mate. <laughs> oh, it depends. You could be. I have Americans that watch my stuff, so oh, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Over there. Do you have Americans that watch my videos? Shout out to you, the uh, Americans. How deep is it out here? Also, we're just about to enjoy New Year's. Well, this about already. Yeah, I hope you all had a good New Year. You know, we're in, we're in the future here. <laughs> You're streaming from. Well, it's last year over there. What's that? It's, like, it's last year over there. Yeah, that's it. The cars is in Baltimore, that's like 16 hours behind. You see where people have been outside the channel marker? Yeah. That's when you have problems. This is probably, I probably wouldn't go through this. But it's nice, I'm enjoying the walk. You see that white marker over there? That's like a hole. See, she's starting to get deep now. Yeah. In, in spots. In spots. It's deeper, definitely deeper out there. Yeah, you can, you can run the camera for a bit. Why me? Because. I hope both of you. You can do it. That's the good boys. How deep is it? It's uh, still somewhat comfortable for me to drive through, in a sense, but like crawl through it. It's salt though, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's like even here, this is pretty good. Yeah. We've already gone a fair distance too. We've already gone a fair distance. Go a little deep just there. Bit of a hole there. But it's still very firm. I reckon if I hug this marker, it might not be too bad. If you hug, get closer to the markers, it might not be too bad. Hey? Eh? Yeah. Not bad. It's not too bad actually at all. Looks like it gets a bit better over there. Yeah, what? That's a bit dangerous. Yeah, a little bit dangerous. It's a dumb, it's a, it's a dumb idea. So, oh, we'll keep walking. Yeah, if, you have, if you get close to your markers, you might be right. Yeah, I reckon you'd be all right. It's definitely, you know, it's only ankle deep. So. Uh, we've been here since, geez, I've forgotten. I think about eight or nine days. Okay. Yeah. Yep, man. Yeah, so, did a bit of fishing. Are you local? Sorry, no, I'm from Victoria. Oh, Vic? Yeah, yeah, okay, there you go. Cool. Yeah, right. Catch much? Uh, I think about eight jewies. Okay, um, nice. A uh, couple of uh, eagle rays. Yep. And a couple of sand, uh, shovel nose sharks, a few sand. Yep, just, off, just off, off the beach? Yeah, just off the beach. Okay, just found some gutters and off you went? Yeah, yeah. that's it. Okay, all right, cool. You're yeah, fishing as well, so. Yeah, we are. Yeah, the ranger's been going through. Yep. Um, hit the trees. Yeah, so if you sorry. haven't booked, you'll make your book. We are, yeah. Oh, sorry. We're, we're booked. already booked. Yeah. We're booked, so if he's good, that's good. If not, we were going to say if we couldn't get in there, then we we're just going to go beach camp. And if they pulled us up there, we'll go. Well, we couldn't get in where we yeah, were, so it. we paid. Deal with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, I better head back. Anyway, no worries. Nice to meet you, mate. Yep, you yeah. too. Have a good trip. You too. Have, have a good one. Catch you later.
All right, that's the speed they're going. And see how much it's chopping up? Yeah, look at this guy here. He's doing it wrong. Yeah. So, just had a chat to Land Base Legends. Go check him out if you haven't. I, I sure will be when I get home. Uh, he's been out here eight or nine days, as he said. So, um, this is definitely doable. Uh, just take it really slow so you're not splashing up so much salt. And, um, yeah, just kind of protect everything prior to uh, coming out or give your car a rinse off. Um, that's going to be the best way to do it. I don't know, what do you reckon, Sock? Do you want to do it? I'm pretty comfortable with it, man. It seems pretty good. Well, right. Just remember, you've got no snork, so you're going to take the real slow. Yeah, that's alright. Right. But this isn't any, you know, you drive through this on the street. It's just the salt content I'm concerned about. We've got, we got the ground clearance, but Triton doesn't fine as so. Yeah. We'll have a chat to them, we'll let them know. Like, it's definitely doable if they stick to the left side. The virus, mate. Yeah. Well, you know, I have to keep sort of towards this side. I might be alright. Yeah. Just here, yeah, hug, hug over here. And, and I think you'll be fine, so. I reckon we'll give it a shot, guys. As much as I hate salt water. Um, at least this isn't up over the bonnet salt water, floating salt water, so. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. So yeah, we'll uh, report back to the uh, other couple that are waiting and, and we'll go from there. Well, once you get to the top, you gotta film it, so. <laughs> Just have a look at what you gotta watch out for. Made of mine, that's where they showed that 90 series. Yeah, yeah. That was there. So there's this big drop off just here. Into like some salt bush. Do you do not want to go out there. It's pretty. It's soft but it's not bad. Oh. Give the thighs a good workout. I have sore. Sore Achilles tonight. Oh boy. It's not too bad. Yeah. Pretty hard packed in the tire tracks in the ruts. I am unfit. <laughs> okay. Oh. The leg burn is real. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's it. So, people coming across, can't really tell from here. Um, but yeah, it's doable. You need a bit more sand than I do, I think. Yeah. But. Well, it's crazy though. Why is that guy outside the markers again? I don't know. It's oh, boy. <sighs> so. We'll give it a shot. We'll drop tire pressures. That's it. Start coming up. What, here? 
Is it? Do you want to go first and I'll kill the Well, we'll see how he goes. Oh, I liked it all right. Can't complain with that. Not at all. If the highlights did that, you'll be fine. I'm concerned about my lack of power, but I've got to talk, I guess. Yeah, I suppose. So. First gear, second gear, maybe. Second gear, low range. See how I go. Holy crap. All right. We're going to go down there. And uh, air down, I guess. Always get me tomorrow coming up here. It's fine. All right, we'll go do that. All right, so we made it up the dune. It was, uh, took me a second try because I haven't driven manual in a four-wheel drive before. Um, but yeah, there I am. I'm up on the dune. That's the dune down there. Um, yeah, just went third gear, low range. Not a problem. Uh, 16 PSI front and 21 PSI rear. This big sock in his 90. How'd you go? Walk in the park. Walk in the park. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. So, were you 16 like and 20 piece. PSI? 16 front, 20 rear? Yep. Yep, so. Not thereabouts. Probably yeah. just a little bit over that. Yep, yeah, pretty straightforward. So, thought we'd come check out the beach before we set up for camp for tonight. Yeah. And then we go for a, a fish, maybe later. We'll see. It's starting to rain a little bit, so you got your tarp, oh, I was, guess we can. Was a bit. It's calm down now, but yeah, it's pretty overcast up here, but. Yeah. yeah, there you go guys. So that's where we are right now. Nice and scenic. Yep. Then we'll get out on the beach and get our probably our faces blown off by the wind. That's it. So that's it. So we're gonna go do that and uh, have some fun. Alright, so we made it onto the beach. Um Yeah, it's good. Enjoying it. Yeah. Looking pretty good. No wind, like still. Yeah. So there's no wind at all. Yeah. It's perfect for camping down here. So there's a fair bit of erosion though on this beach at the moment. Yep. Which is pretty bad. So and rubbish and crap. Not not bad. Not bad as I've seen like it's like barley or something though. So nowhere near. There's all cuttlefish and it's like a burly pot. It's got no lid, but you know, yeah, all sorts of stuff around here. So. Yeah, not bad. We just cover a quick run along the beach. We're going to head back down to the campsite and uh, and we're going to set up for the night, I think. And we'll come out here tomorrow and do some fishing. So, yep. pretty hot though and still, we must feel a bit of a breeze, but, so, it's not going to make for a fun night sleeping, but, you know, it's what it is, so, alright, we'll keep going.